Are you ready for a 10 question quick fire? I certainly am. Hit me. <laughs> All right, let's do it. S13 or S14? Oh man, that is a tough one. I know. So I've uh, I've had both actually. I know. Um I think S14 only just because it is the the easeability for like daily use is there. I find the S13 just to be a smaller car. All right. So it's not as practical. All right. <laughs> if you would ever call an S chassis practical, but uh that's the way my mind works. I'm like bigger car and it's still to me a little bit better geometry in terms of uh grip driving. So solid I'd have to say S14, solid explanation. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh modified or super street magazine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's a tough one as much as i love super street uh, uh -huh. i'm gonna have to go with modified just because understood it it, it it hits home you know yeah uh video or photography oh photography okay even, yeah even though i do I wasn't video expecting I, I honestly thought you were gonna go the other route but Nah, you know what? I love taking photos, and I find photos you could spend so much more time tweaking them and make th making them look perfect. Mm -hmm. And with video, you you pretty much if you want to make something nice, it's like you got to have a movie style set where you've got lighting and just like getting it all going. Like the kind of stuff I do is just raw almost to that sense. The production value is so low, and I'm like, that's what burns me so much because uh, I went I don't to school. No, I don't think it's that low. Well, it's, it's low in uh, certain standards, I think. But, yeah, you're right. In terms of the vlog, I think it's up there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, E46 or E90 BMW? E46 all the way, man. For sure. Oh, I'm right with you. I think that's the. I think that car is the most beautiful BMW, like the M3 yeah. ever built. Oh, yeah. It's and one I of my think, favorite. And they're stupid cheap. For uh, for prices right now, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, just don't get that SMB tranny. Oh, we uh, <laughs> this is just a preview. A little, we we may have something like that coming down the pipeline for one of the projects. <laughs> God, so. oh. grip driving or drifting? <sighs> Man, I, I love both so much. I, I definitely don't do enough drifting, so uh, I, I'm gonna have to say grip. But I. The excitement that you get from drifting, I think, is Pretty infectious. Intense. And yeah, and it's something that I want to do so much more of. But oh, I know. Right I know. Now, we're we're just no grip place. guys trying to make a, a, a channel for the grip guys. So. Did you just say grip backs? <laughs> no, I didn't. Grip oh. guys. I thought she said we're grip backs. I was like, oh, that's oh. cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, SR20 DET or a K24 Turbo? Oh my God, K24 all day. I love it. The K motor, I, I still maintain, is the best NA four cylinder ever built. It's a big statement. I know, I know, but it makes more power than an SR stock with boost. Yeah. It makes more power without boost. Okay. It can you can rev it to the moon. You don't need to like do a ton of upgrades on it. They're just like what other engine could you just make two hundred plus wheel horsepower all day long? with just bolt-ons like it's it's a tough yeah. sell for anything else in my opinion right all right i mean listen it's it's a solid supporting argument that you brought up i may be biased because i'm putting one in an s14 but right <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see i know you have a 930 911 mm -hmm. so is it a 930 911 or is the 991 911 turbo oh man uh, I had 930 for me. I thought it's, you were going to be there, but I don't know. I just wanted to see where you're at. <laughs> yeah, I love the the new ones are so badass. They're just yeah. They're just too good to a certain extent. They they provide everything so well where mine has character. I was driving it the other day and I got into speeds that were very reckless and the the front end starts getting light and it's like, "Okay, you got to reel it in, you know." Yeah, you With just need more fun, downforce. Exactly, right? <laughs> so uh, new Civic Type R or the DC2 Integra Type R? DC2. Yeah, I'm old know, school. I love that. Love it. 2JZ or RB26? Oh, 2J. And finally, my Canadian friend, is it the poutine or the butter tart? <laughs> I, I barely ever eat butter tart, so, and, and I don't eat much poutine, but it, it has to be poutine. I mean, right. it, yeah. <laughs> The national staple of Canada. Um, so, throw people a tip if they're up there in Canada. Where do they need to go for their for their poutine? Is there a spot? 
Oh, man. I, I try to live a healthy life, so uh, I, I don't get out to too many poutines. But okay. smoked poutinery is kind of our staple. It's a, it's almost like a chain around here, but it does have excellent, excellent poutine. So if you're not like a crazy food snob, that yeah. to me is the way to go. You can enjoy it, have your gravy, and then you can even add ridiculous things like chili, bacon, and a whole bunch of other stuff that uh, – that I've only seen at like three in the morning because that is like the drunk go to for a lot of people. So those places are open late at night. Yeah, it's almost like the taco of the Canadian world. Yeah, <laughs> you, you may be right. That is right? a good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Loaded these days. 